welcome back to the layout downstairs. I'm Matthew, and uh, welcome to the very first video. And I thought we'd kick it off with a little unboxing. It was a Philadelphia Energy 3-pack of tanker cars. And uh, I did get the 3-pack of Philadelphia Energy tank cars. And uh, I've already taken them out of the box. And uh, right now we're going to unbox them. And then we'll uh, run the trains to uh, bring them to the yard. Okay. So I um, took the three pack out of the box. They're right over there. And they came in this uh, cardboard box. Philadelphia Energy three pack. And uh, now we're going to open them up. Alrighty everyone. Uh, it's time to uh, unbox the first um, of the three. Philadelphia Energy Lionel tank cars. Here I have number 757. Uh, looks great. Um, looks very realistic. Uh, it's got all the warning labels, all the separately applied uh, grab handlebars. Uh, we'll get down to those details later, but uh, let's just get right into it and unbox it. One thing I want to say before I go any further is to always be careful when unboxing this plastic material. So we're going to carefully pop open these. Alrighty. And uh, just looking at it from here, it looks great. I gotta say, it does look great. And, uh, I'm not seeing any, uh, scratches or manufacturing defects. Alrighty. Uh, let's get down to some details of this car. Alrighty, folks. So, uh, now we have the, uh, Philadelphia Energy Solutions number 757 out of the box and on my little uh, makeshift display table uh, I have an Apple pencil here that I'll be using as my pointer I know many of you probably don't care but uh, I needed something as my pointer so uh, let's just get into it so let's go from uh, left to right so Lionel has done a very nice job of displaying Philadelphia energy solutions alright uh, so there is little detailing here. Um, they have done a very nice job with the trucks. Um, it has rotating bearing caps, sprung trucks, uh, and these separately applied grab irons are very nicely mounted. They're mounted in a realistic position. So now about halfway into the car going up. We have this ladder here. There is one on the other side as well. And that leads up to the uh, fueling station of the car and this cap does open like that and there is even a little hole in there nice uh, hand railings up here because you don't want anyone to fall off although there, is, there aren't any uh, walking plates up here but um, they haven't done those in a while and I honestly have to say that these look much better alright going down and to the right we still have these separately applied um, metal bars right here. Uh, we have information about the car, carrying capacity, whatnot. Uh, we also have a warning label here that it's flammable. Uh, more very small detailing. Emergency brake uh, rotating handle. So the emergency brake handle. The other side does not have that. But this side does. Now both sides do have a coupler. Both sides can be opened from the little tab on the side or the um, the electromagnetic clip at the bottom that can be triggered from a uh, electromagnetic opening track. Um, now moving on another warning label, a little area to walk and uh, that's about it. Uh, this car looks great, and uh, let's put all three on the layout. Alrighty, folks, I got these uh, three cars on the layout. I unboxed the other two, 
because uh, I didn't want to have you guys have to sit through the unboxing of two other tanker cars because the only difference the only differences are the road numbers so I unboxed 757 then 759 then 791 and if you're wondering what PESX means that means Philadelphia Energy Solutions and I believe that the X is a term for a tank car um, and I'll throw up an example alrighty folks I told you I'd give you an example of what the X is for so here is one of my other tank cars so here we have GATX now I've noticed that at the end of most tank cars almost every single tank car there's the X so this is probably what the um, what they specify tank cars as. I have no idea what GAT stands for, um, but the X is probably tank car. Alright. Alrighty, folks, we got power on the track. We got freight cars out of the way. We're ready to go pick up the Philadelphia Energy Solutions three pack tanker cars from Lionel. Um, for today's uh, pickup, I guess what you could call it, we're going to use the beloved Norfolk Southern 300. Uh, this will be quick uh, because this video is about the tanker cars, not 300. Upcoming video about the Lionel Norfolk Southern 300 uh, switcher right here that we'll be using today. Uh, upcoming review and video on that soon. Uh, this is my first video, so I do have to get a video making down um, because uh, I'm pretty good at it. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. So let's start this bad boy up. Folks, we're uh, coupled up to 300, and now let's just run them around the layout a little bit. Alrighty folks, that about wraps it up uh, for the Lionel Philadelphia Energy 3-pack tanker car unboxing. I hope you enjoyed today's video, um, and a new video will be out soon within the next couple days or week. Um, I am in school, so you're going to have to cut me some slack, but um, please subscribe. 
and like the video and that really helps me and uh, also comment down below uh, how I can improve my videos and also how uh, or what you liked about them uh, that really helps and uh, hope to see you next video thank you